So you are treating migraine headaches. Yes. Are the results there? I mean, you have people that long-time migraine sufferers, now they don't have migraines. Absolutely. You have that? Headaches are something that is on our health questionnaire as a dentist, and everyone was always checking it for decades now. I have headaches, I have headaches, I have headaches. And I've had people come and tell me, I, I mean, I'm like, well, how often do you get them? And they would be saying, every day. 20 hours a day sometimes, every week. And I'm like, this sounds horrific. And now these people have no headaches. They've gone, even my husband's a patient. Um, so I finally made him, I'm like, you've got, I'm sick of you telling me like you're coming home from work because you have a headache or you're not feeling good when you I'm wake up. I'm sick of your morning. headaches, you yeah, told him. You're sick of these That's headaches. That's nice. Because it was ruining, I mean, it was ruining his enjoyment with the kids. And he wouldn't, and you're of course his wife, the dentist. Right. He doesn't want to take your advice. Right, right. Well, he's just like, well, I don't know. Like, right, will it, will, will it But work? how in the world does it have anything, one, your teeth have anything to do with the headache? Because the headache center and the nerves in this area all report to the, back to the same area in the brain. And it's the neck too. We treat the muscles of the neck, the muscles of the face, the mus chewing muscles. They are all working more than any other muscle in our body. We all eat all day. We all talk all day. Okay. Um, we smile. So they are sending all of this input back to the area that's considered the headache center. So when it comes to the teeth, how people are like, well, how can a dentist help me with my headaches? How could he possibly help? The problem is that this joint and these nerves that are running through this joint and innervating these muscles, they meet in the head. And that joint is only supposed to be used a few times a day for maybe 20, 30 minutes to eat. But in this day and age, it's not. People are stressed out. They go to bed like this. They're talking to their children like this. They're driving their car like this. They're driving the plane like this, the motorcycle. All night okay. long, your teeth are just supposed to boom, touch. That's not what happens. Boom, touch to eat. Not what's happening at all. People are spending eight to 14 hours a day putting so it's pressure like stress on the joint. On, so it's like stress, stress on the joint, killing, on mm -hmm. the nerve? Stress is one of the things that, I mean, is definitely not just with headaches. It's hurting our whole body because of what it's sending. The neurological patterns that are sent by the stress of constantly having that muscle contract it, causing all that inflammation in the joint and the head and the nerves that are running to our brain, just, it comes, it's referred pain to the whole area. People feel headache here, here, they think it's their sinuses, back here, and it's all because that's where it's referring. So when you, what, fix their bite, we adjust fix their, their bite, way their teeth come together. And we relax you, these muscles And the headaches go away? They go away. Really? And we use high-tech stuff. We use stuff that people are like, oh, I'll come for this treatment any day. This is the best thing I've, this is the best part about coming to dentist because it's ultrasound. It's trigger point therapy. It's stuff that you would love a massage therapist to do to your headaches. <laughs> yeah, because you're using, I guess, uh, like cold lasers, mm -hmm. manipulation, Right. Dental, getting the teeth back exactly. together. Exactly. You can't get an You're athlete that's, you know, an athlete that just got injured on the football field and wants to get back in the game. Can't do it if he can't move the joint. If but it's people, painful, so we're using the same technology. Now, I've been around people with migraine headaches. I mean, they're pretty miserable. They're, they're edgy. miserable. So with your husband. When his headaches were gone, was he more empty. pleasant? He is. He's more pleasant. Um, yes. And all of our patients, they do. They can go live life. They, they enjoy their children. A bunch, you know, you have two, three screaming kids. That's not that enjoyable when you have a headache. But women get migraines more than men, right? They do overall. We're more stressed. <laughs> we have to deal with the men. You stress us out. We have the kids. We're right. working now. Okay. Okay. You're balancing a lot more things. Um, you know, when it comes to females, and females too, they hold a lot of stress. We're very emotional creatures. Um, so they're thinking about things um, when they go to bed. They have anxiety about the next day. Do they have everything ready for their kids' school play? You know, is, you know, are they gonna get to work on the time? You know, they're a lot more anxiety. I think not that men don't have anxiety too. I think so, everyone so does women, these days. But you have women that, because a lot of times they'll say, you know, it's just hormones or whatever. Do you have people that you've wiped out their migraines? Yes, we Completely? do. And a lot of people, the thing is, we perform, the t we do the diagnostic testing. We check the range of the motion of the muscles. We see how your bite comes together. And we'll know if our treatment's going to help you. There's lots of people that, right, maybe there is something actual neurological. That's great. There's neurosurgeons out there. Um, hormonally, most of the time when people say they have, quote, hormonal headaches, they have, quote, chronic headaches, they have sinus headaches. They're just referring to the place where the pain is occurring. Tension headaches. It, they're making up names. They have the, these diseases now. These patients come to me with. They have. Um, they've been diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. You know, they've been diagnosed with cluster headaches. 
Great, a cluster of headaches, and they're fatigued. Cluster headache. Yeah. But you have seen reversals in these. I right. Mean, that's all that matters. I all mean, they you have really seen... have, right, is just, like you said, it's, re it's reversible. They really just about, have an inflammatory and neurological response. Have you had people get off medications? Because a lot of these people are on pain meds. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants to be on pain meds, but they work. No, and you absolutely don't want to be on those pain meds because it's like everything else. You start to get used to them, so then the headache gets worse. Um, some of those medications, they actually have side effects written that says headaches. So you're creating, you're using a medication to get rid of your headaches, and then you're taking medications that a known side effect is headaches. So people start to actually get medication migraines, they're called. So you're just never treating the problem. And like I said, too, even dentistry-wise, you never treat the headaches and how the muscles are causing the teeth to break. Yeah, I'll be doing root canals and crowns on you all day, all day, so that mm -hmm. you die. You're going to keep me busy every year. But you don't have to. You don't have to. Once these muscles are relaxed, once we teach you how to stretch the jaw, once your headaches are gone, once the neurological pathway to get you to continually clench is erased, you're going to prevent yourself from needing dental work. You're going to prevent yourself from being tired. Your chronic fatigue syndrome is gone. Your de depression is gone. The anxiety meds, you don't wow. need them because you're not having anxiety anymore because you're relaxed. No more headaches. No more headaches.